can't do anything about this fucking turd. Here's Trevor. Gee, right! Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts! Listen. We need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? We think they're going to use this money to finance a war on our streets. And we need you boys to requisition that money for us. The bombs are leaving the terminal in an armored car. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck to block, tow truck to sack them. We get some disguises, and we're gold. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I will keep my eyes peeled, General! Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. Alright guys, a few more details. We'll need boiler suits and masks for this job. The garbage truck. Let's get one from your park. Bring it back through the lot. And there's an auto repair place by the airport where we can get a tow truck. What else? Uh, oh yeah, 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 get away. That would be nice. Get something fast and discreet. We park it off the road a good distance from the lot. And make sure it ain't near something we'll crash into driving off. That's it. Alright man, I got you, dawg. What? Huh? I missed that. Maybe shout a little louder? Bite me. guy stealing contracts. You burnt a farm, killed my brothers. You had too many brothers. They needed culling. You're fucking dead. Aren't we all? We live and we die. That's our curse. Hey, you want to expedite the situation? Come fucking find me. Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck. I'll be there, man. I don't know when, but I'll be there. Run! You don't want 
end up in the back of this. Sanitation truck's there now, so don't you bother. Man, I'm drunk. But, shit, I ain't getting drunker. I got a ride for our getaway, homie. Well done. Where's it stored? Strawberry.
wanted to talk to you about that email you sent. Man, man these young cats are crazy. Not no an open man. Show, man. I was wondering if you'd be back in again. Listening to you and those two friends of yours bantering back and forth, it was so cool. It was like I was in a movie or a music video or something. Man, what are you talking about? I love the hip hop. PG Jackson, MC Clip. That ain't real hip hop. No, no, of course not. I mean, what would I know? I barely exist outside this store. Time was. A brother used to know who to trust around here. Not no more. Yeah, brother. How are you doing, my dear? They were sleeping together. Well, that's contagious. Hey, y'all, we got ourselves some boiler suits. I'm so sorry. I feel horrible. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, started again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you? Turn things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. 
Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. <sighs> the FIB is making me... Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? I, I, I've been out of control, Doc. I think I got, you know, an imbalance or something. You know, I mean, one minute I'm one person, and the next minute I'm another person. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. <sighs> Not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that, or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means... That's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? you high, but no one knows because no one's tried it. True. Uh, who, who is this? Helen, are you the gap tooth one or the one with lopsided tits? Oh, right. Needs a nose job. Gravity is like the most far out thing ever, man. I heard that shit. I got some masks. We're all gonna look real pretty. Oh! 
Buddy. You ready to do this? Yep, got everything we need. Okay, so move already. When you get the stuff, bring it to Devin Weston. You met him at our internal rendition site. He's a major player in the investment world, so treat him with respect. I'll show him as much respect as a friend of yours deserves. 